Hey, this is Kim from TriopsGuys.com and I'm going to show you a reliable method I use for hatching triops from eggs and also share some tips I've picked up. Okay, so equipment. First you need a container. As long as it holds two cups of water, it's a good, it's what I do for around 10 eggs or so. And I got this from the dollar store. It doesn't matter, the material it can be glass, whatever. And you want to make sure you sterilize that with some boiling hot water first. Just kind of swish it around a bit. And uh, the reason I'm going to hatch them in a small container first is that when the triops are born, they're really small. So this way they can find their food quicker. If you if you hatch them in the 10 gallon or you know your final tank right away, then you're going to risk the baby triops not finding their food and starving to death. And you'll keep them in here about a week, two weeks or so, then transfer them. Okay, then you got your eggs. They usually come with some sand and some little pieces of leaf. And detritus, that's for the triops to eat, so you don't have to feed them during the first three days. If you do feed them, you'll probably kill them. So don't give them anything in the beginning. Then uh, we need some distilled water. You can get this at any grocery store or drug store. Okay, for heat, we're going to just uh, use a uh, desk lamp, and don't use these fluorescent bulbs, they don't get hot enough. Use one of these bulbs, and this one's 75 watt, at least a 40 watt bulb. Okay, then we need um, thermometers. Get one of these that actually dip into the container, and I'll tell you why. These kind of these kind of strip thermometers, you put them on the outside of the container and what happens is they'll read the heat off the lamp instead of the water. And I killed a lot of triops in the beginning because I kept thinking that the temperature was higher but the actual water temperature was a lot cooler so get one of these. They're both the same price, they're like three bucks at Walmart or PetSmart. Okay, first thing you do, take your water shake it up a couple minutes and I already shook this up so I'm going to put about two cups for a packet of eggs usually one packet of eggs has like ten eggs or so doesn't really matter this container can hold about you know 20-30 triops you're just going to have to transfer them sooner but I like two cups for 10 eggs or so. Okay, so that's about that full. Take your thermometer, pop it in, bring it over, and drop your lamp over it. Okay, then you're going to leave it until you get to your hatching temperature. Um, every species of triops has different temperatures which they hatch better in. And some won't even hatch at all unless they reach a very specific temperature. So uh, I'll put a link in the sidebar that shows a website where you can go and look up the different hatching temperatures. Okay, so we'll wait until it reaches a proper temperature. Okay, after you get to your temperature, take your eggs and your sand and your detritus and dump that in there. and you see the sand some of the stuff floats on top so you just take something and stir it around a bit kind of spread out the sand on the bottom and of course some of the leaves and stuff will always float so don't worry too much about that it's not a, it's not an issue Okay and you put it under your lamp and uh, just make sure you stay in the range of your temperature so it's better to have a lamp with a bendable neck so you can go up and down if you can't you can just put something under your container to raise it and lower it and uh, you should see some little triops hatch in about 24 hours or so and um, 
they're really hard to see. The best way is to put some, like a piece of black paper in the back here. And then look in, they kind of look like grains of sand, kind of jerking and swimming around in the very beginning. But uh, after like a day or so, you, can, you can't miss them if you look in the water. Okay, and that's how I reliably hatch triop eggs. Works almost every single time. And uh, if you have any questions or you do this and your triops aren't hatching, just leave uh, questions or comments on the video and I'll do my best to help. And also if you go to our website triopsguys.com there's a bunch of tutorials and how to's and pictures too on there and uh, along with hatching temperatures also. Okay, thank you for watching and good luck.